1. Remove the display screen and disconnect its cable. 2. Remove the print platform. The original machine comes with a glass plate. 3. Unscrew the bolt securing the heated bed. 4. Remove the heated bed and collect the spaces from beneath it. 5. Unscrew the hand-tightened nut on the Y-axis belt tensioner. 6. Remove the plastic casing at the front of the Y-axis. 7. Detach one end of the Y-axis belt. 8. Gather the Y-axis idler and detach the other end of the Y-axis belt. 9. Unscrew and remove the six POM wheels from the Y-axis carriage. 10. Attach M4 to 8 screws and M4 T nuts to the long bracket. 11. Place the auxiliary spacer on the machine casing. 12. Position the long bracket along the Y-axis extrusion. 13. Ensure the end of the long bracket is 40 mm from the machine casing end. 14. Tighten the mounting screws of the long bracket. 15. Using an auxiliary tool, mark the position of the threaded holes on the long bracket, optional for viewing ease. 16. Place the linear rail on the long bracket. 17. Loosely attach M35 screws to the linear rail. Do not fully tighten at this step. 
18. For installing the short bracket on the slider, there are two methods. The second method is recommended. Method 1. Secure a brass nut to the slider, then attach the short bracket to the nut using M396 countersunk screws. Method 2, recommended. Place two thick and one thin square silicone spacers on the slider, then attach the short bracket to the slider using M312 countersunk screws. Nineteen. Place a round silicone spacer over the threaded hole on the short bracket. Twenty. Loop the Y-axis idler into the timing belt. Twenty-one. Ensure the Y-axis carriage is oriented correctly so that the screws can make contact with the limit switch. Twenty-two. Secure both ends of the timing belt to the Y-axis carriage. 23. Attach the Y-axis carriage to the short bracket using M5-8 to screws. Start with the two screws in the smaller holes. 24. Slide the Y-axis carriage to ensure smooth movement, then fully tighten the screws, securing the linear rail. 25. Arrange the timing belt properly. 26. Reattach the plastic casing at the front of the Y-axis. 27. Install the hand-tightened nut on the idler and adjust the tension of the timing belt. 
28. Secure the plastic casing with screws. 29. Place spaces above the screw holes on the Y-axis carriage, starting with the four central ones. 30. Attach the heated bed to the Y-axis carriage with screws, but do not fully tighten them yet. 31. Attach the remaining spacers and screws to the Y-axis carriage. 32. Fully tighten all screws. 33. Place the print platform back on the heated bed. 34. Reconnect the display screen cable, then reinstall the display screen. 35. The upgrade is now complete. After powering on, perform bed leveling before starting a print. Thank you.